So I watched this video today by Mudville Media titled Sureños Dis Nipsey Hustle with Norteños Dis Mac Dre. This is a false narrative. This is fake news. One, the Nipsey Hustle mural has CG on it, Gangster Crips, but it doesn't have any set on it. Any particular Gangster Crips set. And if any Gangster Crips set would have dissed Nipsey, they would have put their set on it. So it appears more likely in the case of the Nipsey Hustle um, mural being defaced that it was cops. That it was LAPD trying to provoke gang wars and beefs and tensions especially when the Rolling Sixties and A-Trade Gangster Crips have been in peace talks or whatever you want to call them. But I get that this Mudville is from, from Northern California. So he's trying to lay it at the feet of the Sudanios being an antagonist. And what I realized in watching this video is how antagonistic people are on here. You know, instead of speaking directly as someone, legitimately speaking your piece, right? Whatever your beef is with the Sureños, which everybody knows the beef between the Sureños and Norteños, why not just speak directly to that? Instead of, uh, instead of making up stories that don't fit the script. This appears to be a great problem on here with all these antagonists. It's either gang related or it's racial or whatever. But there's a lot of children on here that are of age that constantly do the same. They have the same mentality they had as kids in spite of the fact that they're over the age of 18 or 21. Some are in their 30s, 40s, and even older. How do you think you're gonna get anywhere or get a message across to anyone being an antagonist? Now I know this from personal experience because I used to do the same. I used to think that by antagonizing people, I can get somewhere with them. But I realized that I can't. By antagonizing people, I'm only going to provoke them to respond accordingly. And it's always going to be negative, as it always has been. So if you want to speak to someone about something, it's best to speak sensibly. Instead of speaking in the, in the same senseless, senseless manner in which provokes all the senseless violence, that has reigned supreme for far too long on the streets. All gang violence is senseless. And all racial violence amongst these gangs is even more senseless, considering that we all have a common enemy in all this, the system itself. We can do far better for ourselves by promoting something that makes sense, that's logical, reasonable, instead of being antagonistic, poking the bear. Now, everybody knows that in Northern California, the blacks and the vi blacks and the browns, they they're good with each other. It's the same here for the most part in Phoenix, Arizona. On the east side, we're all good. The south side, there's still certain, certain racial animus between blacks and browns or the blacks and the Chicanos. Not nearly as it once was because of the gentrification of the south side. And then the west side, you know, the Paisas don't like the blacks, but that's the Paisas. You have to understand that things are different here. 
but for the most part, there's not there's not those those racial racial wars or even even any of that here. When gangs are at war with gangs, they're at war with those gangs, and it's left at that. People never make it out to be draw others in, entire races of people into it. So I think that all everyone needs to consider what they're putting out and how antagonistic it is because we ain't going to get nowhere like that. You have to make sense in order for people to really truly pay attention. Now I've been I've been I've been accused of being partial one way or another because I'll speak out on something and then somebody would say, well, you should, what about them? So I speak out on that too. But I speak sensibly, logically, reasonably. Because all of what we're seeing is senseless. All of these war stories that people keep bringing up from the past, it's all senseless. What's the moral of the story in, in talking about the past and reliving these war stories or whatnot to make one out to be better than the rest. When this, there's none that stands above and beyond any other like that. Because when you consider those prison gangs who, who are at the top, the crown jewels of those people, what are they without those neighborhoods to back them up? Nothing. They're far smaller in numbers than any of those street gangs. And it's laughable. So if you if you expect something to change, you have to demonstrate that. So to a little homie from Mudville, you might want to you might want to check your sources and your facts before you put out content. Because your animus with the Sureños being a Northaniel, why not just speak directly to them and what your problems are with them? Because you missed your mark on here. You have a clickbait title. And if it wasn't for that fact, I would have never tapped in. It's a nice trick. And I see how you try to clean it up in your comments. But I commented directly at you. I replied directly at you in there. And spoke the facts. Well, at least in the in the in the Kendrick Lamar uh mural, it remains to be seen. But Tortilla Flats hasn't taken credit for it, it's just a tag on there. Well they could easily take credit for it. But they haven't. So. Maybe it's the cops all along. Who knows. But I agree with you with one thing. That stuff got to stop. Why go deface a mural? That's to anybody. Why go kick over candles and do all this. All this desecration. When you know it'll be done to you. But if that's the best you can do be an antagonist, then you might want to stop. Because if you're not going to be banging, putting in work, doing this or that, which I'm not promoting here, I'm just saying, unless you're going to actively be doing that, which you shouldn't be online, rapping or talking about it, you should just be about it. But since we know that the numbers are down, I think everybody needs to simmer down. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace. And I'm out.